Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that a factory gives in-service training to its workers, which is followed by a test. It is considering whether it should terminate the services of any worker who does not do well in the test. The following data give the test scores and productivity made by 10 workers during a certain period. And this data is given to us in which the test scores are given as 14, 16, 19, 21, 24, 25, 27, 30. And the corresponding productivity in 10s is given as 11, 13, 17, 24, 28, 30, 32, 37. Calculate the coefficient of correlation between the test scores and the productivity. Does it indicate that the termination of services of workers of low test score is justified? If the firm wants minimum productivity value of 100 units, what is the minimum test score that will ensure continuation of service? Now, before starting the solution of this question, we should know some results. And that are the regression equation of x on y is given as x minus x bar is equal to bxy into y minus y bar the whole. Here, x bar is the mean value of x, y bar is the mean value of y, and bxy is the regression coefficient of x on y. And the regression coefficient of x on y, that is bxy, is given by the formula summation dx dy over summation dy squared, where dx is equal to x minus x bar, and dy is equal to y minus y bar. That is, dx and dy are the derivations of the variables x and y from the arithmetic means of the series. And r is equal to summation of dx into dy over square root of summation dx squared into summation dy squared. Where R is the correlation coefficient. Now these results will work out as a key idea for solving out this question. And now we will start with the solution. For this we will make the table for the given data that is, we will make the table for the test scores and the corresponding productivity in tests. Now let the test scores and productivity in tests be denoted by x and y respectively. Now let us make a table for the test scores and the productivity in terms. So we have drawn a table for the given data. And this, in the first column, we have written the scores which are represented by x. And in the second column, we have written the productivity in terms that is represented by y. That means that if the test score of a worker is 14, then the productivity is 110 units. And if the test score of the worker is 16, then the productivity is 130 units. And so on. In the next column, we will find dx, which is equal to x minus x bar. Then in the next column, we will find dy, which is equal to y minus y bar. In the next column, we will find dx square, then dy square. Then in the last column, we will find dx into dy. 
Now on adding all the values of x, we are getting summation x is equal to 176. And on adding all the values of y, we are getting summation y is equal to 192. Now, mean value of x, that is x bar is equal to summation x by n. Now here summation x is 176 and n is the number of observations which are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So it will be 176 by 8 which is equal to 22. And the mean value of y is y bar which is equal to summation y over n which is equal to, now summation y is 192 and n is 8 so this will be 24. So dx is equal to x minus x bar which is equal to x minus x bar is 22 so it will be x minus 22 and dy is equal to y minus y bar which will be y minus y bar is 24 so it will be y minus 24. Now we will find dx that is we will subtract 22 from the different values of x. Now here x is 14, so 14 minus 22 is minus 8, then 16 minus 22 is minus 6, 19 minus 22 is minus 3, 21 minus 22 is minus 1, then 24 minus 22 is 2, 25 minus 22 will give 3, 27 minus 22 will give 5, and 30 minus 22 will give 8. Now we will find dy which is equal to y minus 24. Now here y is 11. So dy will be equal to 11 minus 24 which is minus 13. Then 13 minus 24 which is minus 11. Then 17 minus 24 is minus 7. 24 minus 24 is 0. 28 minus 24 is 4. 30 minus 24 is 6. 32 minus 24 is 8 and 37 minus 24 will give 30. Now in the next column we will find dx square that is we will square the different values of dx. So minus 8 square is 64, minus 6 square is 36, minus 3 square is 9, minus 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9, 5 square is 25 and 8 square is 64. And now we will find dy square, that is we will square different values of dy. Now minus 13 square is 169, minus 11 square is 121, minus 7 square is 49, 0 square is 0, 4 square is 16, 6 square is 36, 8 square is 64, and 13 square is 169. Now in the last column we will find dx into dy. That is we will multiply different values of dx with different values of dy. Now minus 8 into minus 13 is 104. Minus 6 into minus 11 is 66. Minus 3 into minus 7 is 21. Minus 1 into 0 is 0. 2 into 4 is 8. 3 into 6 is 18, 5 into 8 is 14, and 8 into 13 is 104. Now on adding the different values of dx square, we are getting summation dx square is equal to 212. Then on adding different values of dy square, we are getting summation dy square is equal to 624. Then on adding the different values of dx into dy, we are getting summation of dx into dy is equal to 361. Now we have to calculate the coefficient of correlation between the test scores and the productivity. And then we have to check that does it indicate that the termination of services of workers of the low test score is justified or not? Now using this result which is given in the key idea, 
So the correlation coefficient R is equal to summation dx dy over square root of summation dx square into summation dy square. Now summation dx square is 212, summation dy square is 624 and summation of dx into dy is 361. So putting all these values here, this implies R is equal to 361 over square root of 212 into 624. Then this implies R is equal to 361 over square root of 1 lakh 32,288 which further implies R is equal to 361 over 363.71 which further implies R is equal to 0 0.9925 Now we know that the value of R Ranges from minus 1 to 1. Now we are getting R is equal to 0 0.9925 and the maximum value of R is 1. That means the coefficient of correlation That is R is very high and if the coefficient of correlation is high this means that there is a very high correlation between the scores and the productivity. This means that the worker with a low score is less productive and the worker with a high score is highly productive. Therefore, the proposal of terminating the services of workers of low test scores is justified. So here we can write, therefore, the proposal is justified. Now it is given that the firm wants the minimum productivity value of 100 units. And we have to find the minimum test score that will ensure continuation of service. Now given the minimum productivity value is equal to 100 units. Now here we are taking the productivity in tens and it is denoted by y. So this implies y is equal to 10. That is y is equal to 10 indicates that the minimum productivity value is 100 units. Now we have to find the minimum test score. That is, we have to find the minimum test score for the continuation of service. When the minimum productivity value is given as 100 units. Now we have denoted the test scores as x. That means here we have to find the value of x. That is, for y is equal to 10, we have to find the value of x. Now we know that the regression line of x and y give the best estimated value of x for the given value of y. So using these results which are given in the key idea, now the regression line of x and y is 
x minus x bar is equal to dxy into y minus y bar the whole, which implies x minus x bar is equal to, now dxy is summation of dx into dy over summation dy square into y minus y bar the whole. Now x bar is 22, y bar is 24, summation of dx into dy is 361 and summation dy square is 624. Using all these values here, this implies x minus 22 is equal to 361 over 624 into y minus 24 the whole which further implies x minus 22 is equal to 0 0.578 into y minus 24 the whole, which further implies x minus 22 is equal to 0 0.578y minus 13.872 which further implies x is equal to 0 0.578y plus 8.128. Now this is the regression equation of x and y. Now we know that the regression equation of x and y gives the best estimated value of x for a given value of y. Now let this be equation A. Now putting y is equal to 10 in equation A, we get x is equal to 0 0.578 into 10 plus 8.128, which implies x is equal to 5.78 plus 8.128 which is equal to 13.908. Now as x is equal to 13.908, hence a minimum test score. Now rounding it off to the nearest whole number, it will be a minimum test score of 14 will ensure continuation of service. So this is the solution of the given question and that's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.